Hello, my name is Yulia Pyarminova. I'm from Russia. I was born in Siberia. I play piano. Well, Yulia, uh, welcome. Uh, I read uh, on one of your sites that uh, you refer to your music as being a conversation between two mature people. Yes. Can you tell me something more about that? That was actually not my words, because uh, that was like feedback uh, from my friend. She's a saxophone player and she's also a good writer from Russia. And uh, these words uh, were also translated into the English. Do you see music as a conversation? Uh, I think yes, because I have a lot of uh, contrasts in my music. And when I play it, I can feel that it's like, it has a lot of different um, emotional statements, mm -hmm. probably, so like conver conversation can have. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, yeah, I can compare it, like conversation between the people. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you play with people after having said this, what kind of musicians do you like to perform and to play with? What does it take for a person to be somebody that you want to play with? Musi you mean musicians, yeah. yeah. So um, I like to have really personal contact with musicians. Uh, so for me, that's really important to play with my friends, probably because um, I, can, I can know them really well and, um, and they know me, of course, and yeah, we can set up like some emotional contact uh, while playing. Yeah, for me that's important yeah. to know personally. When I, when I go through your material, um, one of the words that came to me is poetic. You, you seem to have a very poetic approach to your, to your art. Mm -hmm. Where does that come from? Mm. I think I read the books. I I just when I play, I just try to tell the story, really story with the climax, with the any details. So for me, that's important to to tell people about my life, probably about my background, about my feelings, because sometimes I'm I'm not so good speaker to explain what I feel, and music can help more. Mm -hmm. To explain it, it's like really big composition, like poem or something. Oh. Yeah. And also, you have a very good sense of visuals because you you have great photos in your EPK. Uh, mm -hmm. You take real great care of it. Do you, do you have a background in that? Do you have any experience in photography? Oh, I have some experience. Yeah, yeah. But I just try to be myself, like really open. Mm -hmm. I don't think about how I look. <laughs> I just try to look into the camera and think about some person whom I love, for example, mm -hmm. or yeah. That's <laughs> that's my secret. <laughs> if you look at your whole development as a musician, where do you want to go, let's say, the, the coming years? What is the path that you have chosen for yourself? I want to try to live in the United States. Uh, Mm, because, um, yeah, I want to try to live in, <laughs> in any places because uh, for me it's really nice to play for every people, every nationalities. Uh, and yeah, and Americans are... So I already played for Americans actually, I worked on the ship company and oh. yeah, I played in my music and some jazz standards and I, I know Americans like audience, they're so open and so, yeah, so nice. Was that on a cruise ship? Yeah, that was cruise ship for five months. Wow. Yeah, so. How was that? Oh, that was amazing because, uh, yeah, we did uh, Caribbean islands mm -hmm. and, yeah, that was different islands um, and I saw many amazing things. Yeah. Yeah, and we played almost every day for American people in duo. Uh, we had a duo with Wylin and me. Nice. Yeah. So then you'll we'll find out if the people who take cruises are the standard type Americans. Yes. You yes, never exactly. know. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> yes. So that's why I want to try to 
maybe to live in the yeah. United States. That's my, that's my dream. Well, follow your dream and, and thank you for this interview, Yulia. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Thank you.